Hi there, this video will show you how to upload a video or photo uh, from Google Drive, sorry, from your iPad to Google Drive. This allows you to share it or embed it in another website. So I've already loaded up the Google Drive app. Uh, you can see on the left hand side I've got all different folders and on the right I've got um, uh, I've got folders and, and files as well. So the first thing I want to do is go up to the plus icon to upload a new file. And I want this option, upload photos or videos. I can use the camera to record something straight onto Google Drive, but I'm going to upload something that I've already got. So I'm assuming that the video you've got is already saved to your camera roll. Uh, so I go to camera roll, and I've already got a video here, this 42 second uh, video, so I click that one and hit upload. And having pressed that, it should start uploading. It seemed to freeze for a second there, but I think everything's okay. Nothing seems to be happening except I do notice that over here it says uploads and it has the loading symbol. If I go there, I can see my video beginning to upload. I'll pause while that happens and I'll show you what to do when it's finished. Okay, you can see it's nearly finished now. And when it's done, it should enter recent uploads rather than uploading. There it goes. Uh, so from here I can click on the uh, arrow on the right to get more options. Clicking that now I, I enter its uh, properties screen. I can do several things from here. Uh, one is I can uh, go up to the menu icon and when I click on that I can move it to and select the folder I want to save it to. So I might save it to uh, schoolwork if this is a bit of work and ICT. Uh, move here. Yes, move. Uh, so now it's actually stored in a folder where I can find it again easily. But the other really useful thing is uh, down the bottom here where it says who has access. I can select to share this with other people uh, so that they'll be able to see it in their drive. From there they'll be able to um, view it on their iPad or they can also hop on a PC and download it to their computer. So I can click the plus icon to add more people. Uh, and I can just enter email addresses. I won't enter one, but you get the idea. And when you're done, you can press add. Uh, edit, comment, view, depending what you want. I usually leave it on, uh, on edit, but if it was something I only wanted to let people see, I'd hit view. So that's basically it. You can also hop on a PC and uh, in the sharing options through a web browser you'll actually be able to get embed code uh, that will let you embed your, um, your video onto uh, a blog or a learning management system like Schoology. But that's the subject for another video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful.